What's everyone saying? It's your boy Summon Sports back again. I'm here today in Edinburgh and in today's video I'm going to be having a look at the Edinburgh trams and you're going to be joining me. Edinburgh is only one of seven cities in the UK and the only one in Scotland to currently have a tramway network. Edinburgh trams consist of a single 14 km line originating from York Place in the city centre out to Edinburgh Airport. Stops along the route include St Andrew Square for Waverley Station, Princess Street, West End, Haymarket, Murrayfield Stadium, Ball Green, Sochten, Bankhead, Edinburgh Park Station, Edinburgh Park Central, Guile Centre, Edinburgh Gateway, Gogoburn and Engleston Park and Road. Tram networks were a norm in many places across the UK in the 20th century, with this system being an unrelated successor to the city's previous system, which was in operation from 1871 to 1956. The modern system opened on the 31st of May 2014 at a cost of £776 million, following several delays after beginning construction in June 2008. Looking at the route again, it runs along the main streets of Edinburgh city centre, along the Glasgow to Edinburgh railway line, then along the former Edinburgh Fasting guided busway between Bankhead and Sochten into the western end of Edinburgh on new tracks. The system is operated with a fleet of 27 Airbus 3 trams built by Spanish company CAF in the Basque Country between 2009 and 2011. Each tram has a capacity of 250 people and are all maintained at Goga Depot on the outskirts of Edinburgh. TFE, or Transport for Edinburgh, the owner and operator of the tramway line, attempted to lease 10 trams from London's Tramlink network as alternative stock after original plans for the system were scaled down to what we know currently. To be fair, I kind of like the trams that Edinburgh has right now anyway. Transport for Edinburgh, similar in structure to Transport for London and Transport for Greater Manchester, also operate the city's bus network, Lothian Buses. This poses its benefits as users can make the most of seamless integration between the trams and buses. Fares can be bought using cash or card, M tickets with a QR code to scan, rider card season tickets, and a city smart card, with these allowing for integrated fares with Lothian City, Lothian Country, and East Coast buses. The trams have not been without its criticisms though. The initial project was delivered as a downsized network, delayed for a few years and completed wildly over budget. A number of extensions including to Granton via Craigleith and Newbridge via Ingleston and Ratho Station have been put to the side due to a shortfall in funds. The one extension which is currently causing a stir is the one to New Haven down the infamous Leith Walk. The extension will add 4.69 kilometers and 8 new tram stops to the network. Construction work started in November 2019 and aims to be completed by 2023. However, the extension works have caused a lot of disruption, especially for businesses in Leith impacted by road closures and its resulting effects on footfall and street capacity. In all essence, Edinburgh's potential in its light rail system is there to be tapped into, especially with the city's plethora of disused railways. Offering an alternative to the city's main mode of transportation, the bus, will help increase the percentage of Edinburgh citizens who travel using low emission and sustainable travel options. You could say the main barrier that faces this ambition is money. In an ideal world, not affected by COCO-19 and certain political factors, we'd be seeing an ambitious push for an expansive light rail system in Scotland's capital city. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, because it's been your boy Someone Explores, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. See you.